Hello, I'm Suzanne as you probably know and I am here today to talk a little bit about the connection between smoking or indeed any any other bad habits and Pavlov's dog. So what is Pavlov's dog? I don't know if you're aware of the um, actual thing that happened. I, I'm not keen on animal experimentations at all. It's something that happened a long time ago and we have the results of it. But basically, cut a long story short, Pavlov uh, was a scientist who would give his do this, this dog a reward every time a bell rang, a treat. And for a dog, a treat is always like an edible treat. And uh, that happens to us as humans as well. But that's another subject altogether. So, this dog would get a treat whenever the bell rang. And then, eventually, just by hearing the bell ringing, the dog would salivate. So our saliva starts to get ready. It's part of our digestive system. It helps us to digest things. And so our saliva builds up as we, before we put the food in our mouth. And so what happened is the dog would act as if it was going to get a treat, even when it stopped getting a treat when the bell rang. Why is this? Well, it's all about neural connections. So we build neural connections in a direction. So let's say I'm build every time I smoke, it does something for me. And that's where we can get a little bit of, oh, don't tell me that, don't talk to me like that. I just don't have any willpower. No, 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 no. Willpower and all those old ideas Forget that. They're older than Pavlov's dog. Don't tell me that you aren't clever enough to know that smoking or whatever other bad habit you're trying to overcome isn't good for you. You know. So we know that already. Let's put it to one side and look at what we don't know. And what's going on is the brain gets, our nervous system gets trained building neural connections towards this thing. So the way it works, I feel bad. I do this. I feel happy and most people you know at the beginning this is a really weird concept to them they're used to the idea of not having enough willpower and surely everybody wants to smoke and they just really can control themselves no no the only people that want to smoke is people that want to either release stress release boredom um, feel better about a trauma a long time ago, feel better about something else, um, uh, get the ability to concentrate, whatever it is, there is something, something good that the cigarette or other bad habit does for you. Otherwise you wouldn't do it. There is some kind of positive thing, there is some kind of benefit and in energy healing terms, and, and the energy healing methods that I use the most are EFT, emotional freedom techniques, tapping, and Reiki, the allergy antidote system, I use it with my EFT. And let's, let's just not get into the exact method just yet, let's just get into the how these things happen in the body. So. Maybe a long, 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 long time ago, 
you had a cigarette, it made you feel better and that got stuck in your head. So I feel bad, I smoke, I feel better, I feel bad, I smoke, I feel better, I feel bad, I smoke, I feel better. But it doesn't have to be something bad in the now. It could have been something bad. I don't know how old you are, but for some people that I've helped, it was something bad 60, 60 years ago. Loads of bad things happened. And they found when I do this, I forget that bad thing. I feel better. Until they forgot what they forgot. And so what we do with uh, EFT tapping and with any any decent practitioner that knows what they're doing helping you with energy healing especially something as powerful as EFT or tapping would work with you on the underlying causes for the need to feel better because and this is the thing the people that don't smoke, apart from the ones that are forcing themselves through willpower and all that stuff, the people that don't smoke, they feel as good as you do after you've had a smoke. And don't tell me it, smoking only makes you feel bad. We've been through this. We can go through this in a loop over and over again. Okay, so you only smoke because it, may, it does something good for you. Now, if we can release that need from within, whether it's to cover up a trauma that happened to you a long time ago, whether it is to cover up work stress, whether it's to cover up some negative beliefs, whether it is to help give you motivation or whatever it is, it can all be worked on with energy healing, and especially with strong techniques like EFT tapping. It's that's what it does. So, I'm going to put a link underneath to uh, my EFT course online that is free. Have a look at it, see if you gel with it. And if you want some more, then do ask me or do ask somebody else that you like more than me. Whatever you do, find a way, move forward and get rid of that habit. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to me this far and I'll see you next time.